गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू आवर इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स ऑन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ एसी सर्किट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव कवर्ड बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ क्रिचा प्लास we have seen definition few problems based on this kcl and kvl now in this case we are going to do a different problems with help of loop current and nodal analysis last class we have seen the circuits can be analyzed simplified with help of kirchhoff voltage law and voltage current laws that is branch currenting methods we performed few problems where it is very difficult to do the problem with the help of ohms law the network problems can be solved by using kirchhoff's laws with the help of three methods one is a branch current methods where the branch each current is divided at node point and another is the loop current method where each closed loop we are assumed arbitrarily on clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction on i1 i2 i3 based on the number of loops and so another method where we are going to use the kvl or kcl and another this a node analysis method so node analysis method can be used for same analysis of the circuits in this class we are going to last class we have concentrated on the branch current method in this class we are going to concentrate the loop current methods how to solve the problems easily with help of formation of a loop in a closed loop let us do theory and some numerical problems this problem calculated previously with branch current method where arbitrarily we are assuming current in ab branch bc branch dc branch ad branch with help of x y z loops so this we are already learned loop 1 loop 2 this one so here assumed that at branch at node a the current in branch ab is going to the x and bd the current we assumed as a z and at branch ad we are assumed as a y here x and y and z or three unknown branch currents flowing in branches ab ad bd respectively now whereas the branch bc the current by applying the kcl the branch current which is coming from the ab that is the x minus the current which is flowing away from the b that is a bd the x minus z the resultant current which flowing through the bc similarly from the bc from bd branch the current which is coming the z from ad which is coming from the y it is a meeting at node d then summing up that value so y plus z is going to the in the branch of dc you can see in the figure okay based on this current x y and z so we are going to three equations one equation and this one and second equation here and third equation here we can also so based on the branch current divide cur branch current we calculated three equations simply we can easily find that what is the x value what is the y value what is the z value in previous cases 
now in this case instead of making branch here yeah, the what is the current is entering is the sum of the current is leaving this minus this is equal this branch we are assumed in the branch current method instead of current dividing here just we are assuming the loop current this is the i1 this is the i2 this is the current i3 and this is the current i4 so based on this one we are going to calculate the current in a closed loop okay so in previous you can see here in this case we are going to calculate the current which is a loop this is a a b d this is a closed loop we taken as a this is a current is flowing this is a i1 current and another current that is equal to here d c d b so this is a current we are assumed as a one orbital direction i2 next the another current we are assumed as a the current which is flowing from a to d c e f this one so we assumed as a, a same clockwise direction i3 current so three branches and we can write another equation also so from a b c e and we can we can the that is another branch that we can say the i4 and if possible i can write another branch also that is equal to here so from a b this one this one this one we can say i5 so here i can write it loops are this is a first loop second loop third loop and this is a fourth loop and this is the fifth loop five equations can get simple equations but unknowns are only loops are three loops i can three equations is enough for the three unknown values if you know this current if you know this current i can easily find that if you know this current and i can easily find that what is the current in this branch what is the current in the branch what is the current is flowing from the source so out of five equations i can easily calculate three unknown values from three equations okay so these are the basic concept in this class previous week current is divided so what we have seen previously previously we have seen just recall this the basics so you are assumed as a i1 current here this is current is i2 current the branch branch current now you are assumed as a i3 current now i1 i2 i3 current we are assumed flowing ab ad and bc now in this current i am going to write it here by applying the kcl the current is entering current is leaving here the what are the input current i1 is entering from this i3 is current is leaving from this one so remaining current will flows through this one so i1 minus i3 you can write it branch currents now here current is coming the i3 the current is the i2 so sum of the current is entering this node is i2 plus i3 current is flowing through the branch dc now once again here this current and this current is mixing now that means what is going i1 minus i3 plus this current what is this current that is equal i2 plus i3 current so plus i3 minus i3 so we are going to do that i1 plus i2 current is flowing in this branch so the same current is flowing here so here i1 plus i2 same current which is entered leaving in here split it once again i1 and i2 so these are the currents branch currents calculated previous class in this class now loop currents only that means orbitally we are assuming that simple this is a current of i1 this is a current of i2 this is current of i3 simple equations i am going to find same the what are the we are apply the kcl kbl terms and regulations same we are going to apply here but 
in this case loop currents we are taking okay so you remember here what is happening in this branch if you remember some basics the current which is from a to b same current is entering e1 and same current is the entering the 1 ohm resistance now b d the current which is i1 is coming downwards whereas a i2 current is a going upwards in this case you have to take it while considering the loop 1 we take simply resistance i r into what is the current so i1 minus i2 you have to take this uh, drop across uh, this branch while considering this one this is a basic thing you remember while doing the calculations once again i am going to explain you can see it here I assumed as a this is current is equal to I1 current and here I assumed as a current I2 current okay now now I am going to write the equations here what is the writing from A to B coming from loop from B to D I am going to drop is equal to I into R okay what is the i what is the current in the one ohm resistance the current is equal to, so i1 is coming downward i2 is coming the upward so i take in the minus what is the r r is equal to one ohm so this is the drop in this one okay now from for example here i want this area d to a then what is the current here entering so your current entering is a your current is I1 is going this direction and where is the I3 is coming this direction. So, what is the current here considering from the loop one point of view I1 minus I3 into what is the resistance 1 that is the drop here. So, these are the just technique you remember while doing the calculations. While considering the loop 1 you take the I1 first priority because i1 minus i3 in this case here i1 minus i2 in this case suppose you want to consider this loop so while doing this writing equation here you have to take it this what is the current current is i1 i3 minus i1 you have to write it this is a logic you have to remember okay so while considering this one what is the current first priority i3 loop i3 we are writing so you have to write it first this term is the i3 minus what is the current i1 you have to take it while writing here constant loop what is the loop you are taking so first i2 minus i1 for drop here so in this case so you are going to write it i3 minus sorry i2 minus i2 minus i3 while constant here ok so we will do the one a basic uh, problem without any numerical values after that we will do the one numerical value you will get the some idea so here your a means to write the equations with help of basics we have learnt so the current is flowing in a resistance loop current and current in the resistance is uh, both are in same direction we are taking the minus in opposite direction we take a plus at the same time in case of the voltage sources we are direction from the negative to positive we are taking as a positive and positive to negative we are taking the negative value so these are the we are going to apply in these equations once you are you are written the equations then we are going to simplify using the Cramer's rule or matrix or determinants so that is the total mathematical values so carefully write the equations first after that simple calculations we are going to do it okay so let us see that one now now so let us do this one by loop current method okay so don't confuse the branch current methods loop current method nodal analysis node analysis loop analysis and branch current analysis so last class we have seen the branch current method once again i am going to explain so 
branch current method let us assume so one branch don't confuse it okay so this is a, a branch Take it the branch current method. Current method. Okay, branch current method. What to do? Simple, I will give the one equation. Okay, so that is what here I am going to write the one um, that is equal to. Okay, I can write it equation. Same, for example, this is the one source positive negative where it has a, some resistance and there is a node and here I connected another resistance. Here I have the another resistance connected. Here is the another node and here I connect the another resistance here I connected with another source and this is connected here. Now here I connected with another resistance and here in between I connected with another resistance. Here in between I connected with another resistance. Here and between I connected with another resistance. Okay. So this is a for example you assume that this is the given circuit plus minus plus minus. So two sources, you can take this E1 source, this is a E2 source. Now let us assume this is a R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, okay? this is a R6, R7 and R8. Eight resistances connected in a given circuit. Now, what we have seen in last class so we have seen that the branch current method so for example he from source to it is a x current is coming so from this branch to this branch once comes here we are assumed that the current which is flowing here so x current is coming from the source even and from source to E2 is current is coming is the Y current is coming. Two sources are connected here and we are assumed the current which is flowing from the out of the E1 is X and from Y from E2. Now after coming the X here, so assume that Z current is flowing here, Z some unknown value. So here current is the AX. Here is Z, apply the KCL. Current is coming, X current. This current is going, Z current. And another current is going, we are assumed that this is the current. Now, what is the value? Total is called X minus Z. Current is flowing in this direction. So, here the current is represented by x minus z current in the branch which is flowing from this node to this node okay for example you can the a node b node c node junction now so we know the current branch current here is the z here is x minus z here is x current similarly i am going to find here the current is coming the x minus z and here current is the y current is coming now the current is overflowing here. Similarly, you apply the same formula. What is the formula here? So the current which is coming here. Now y is coming here. Here x minus z is coming here. And this current is called sum of the current entering. That is x minus z minus y. The current is flowing here. Okay. So that can be written as a here the two currents are coming x minus z plus y 
amount of the current is flowing in this circuit. That means here we are assuming one second here you can say all branches we are going to apply the KCL KVL. So why current is coming here? Thus this much it is current in the same current. This is the X minus Z current is coming here. Once again the current is coming here. Z is removed, only X current is coming here. Similarly, so we have represented branch current. What is the branch? Here we take in the branch. For example, we can take it. Now branch, this to this one branch and this to this one branch, this to this another branch. For example, we up to this one branch, same branch, series current. Here you can see the, this is another branch, this is the same branch. Now this is the node, here is the node, here is the node, here is the We applied our simple KCL and represented arbitrarily the direction of the current and turns also in there. Here in big circuit unknowns are x comma y comma z. So we can unknown also x y z if we know that. So we can easily calculate the current at any branch. Suppose I want to know this one. If you know the x, if you know the z, if you know the y, I can calculate what is the current across the R4. Through the R4 you can easily calculate. So this is a branch current method we have done previously with some examples. Now, so based on this knowledge, now we are going to the branch current. So based on the branch current, we are going to the loop current. Loop means your current is flowing here. So this current is the exactly what is the current? Z current. Now we are going to make the loop. Okay. So how we are going to do the loop? We will see now. Okay. Now going to the this circuit. Now we can do the another branch that is equal loop current. loop current method okay loop current method that means here for example this is a one source this is another is connected here is another connected this one so here is a we assumed as a loop one this assumed as a loop two loop one represented by this is I1, this is equal I2 current. So here the current is flowing, here is equal to from this one. So here what is the current flowing? For example, this is R1, this is R2, this is R3 resistance. The current flowing in the R1 is only R1 current only. What is the current flowing? I1 current flowing. Across the R2, while writing the equation, so what is the current? I1 is coming downward and I3 is going downward. So I can write it I1 minus I2 current is flowing through R2 while considering first loop. Okay, there is a two loops by considering the first loop. Now, what is the R3? Now R3 current purely only I2 current. So here I1, I2 are the two unknowns. I can write the this one equation, I can write the another equation, two unknowns, two equations, I can easily calculate I1, I2. From the I1, I2, I can easily know the current in each element. This is the idea. Okay. So this thing. So let us do one problem, a big problem based on the this thing concept. Okay. So please listen carefully. Do the problems and if you are facing any problem just you ask me in the next class here so i take in the one circuit please carefully listen it space is very less here now here is the one source you take it now it is connected to the one resistance now you are connected to the another resistance now either connected to the another resistance. Now 
here connected the another resistance now here connected the another resistance now it is connected the another source let us assume this circuit is given for analysis purpose this source plus e1 this is called u2 okay so here r1 taken this is r2 this is r3 this is r4 this is r5 so five resistance connected in the circuit now arbitrarily indicate the nodes so now what is the nodes i am going to find that so i am going to find that nodes so i can write it let us assume here e terminal a this is a terminal b terminal c terminal d this is a e f g h these are the some junction bar terminals for for assume it represent a b c d e f now to do the calculations how many equations required how many unknowns you are going to find it here so here one what is that one here you take the one loop here okay what is the loop you can take is a i1 you take the another loop here this is equal to i2 you take the another loop here arbitrarily i can i3 that means loop 1 loop 2 loop 3 three. three loops are represented arbitrarily now okay so just to represent this similar one now what to do now i want how many branches how many so require the loops actually in the circuit you should know the number of loops is equal represented by m for example you take it or you get the black color so m represent the number of loops okay three loops here so m is the number of loops and b is equal to number of branches you can tell how many branch so here here there is a from h a b same current is flowing so we can say that this is a one branch okay this is the one branch and b to g another branch b to c another branch c to f another branch and c to e in another branch how many branches now we take the 1 2 so you take the 1 2 3 4 5 branches the branches are 5 now how many nodes you can see it so here node current is the same is flowing so b is a one node c is another node and here this is a common node there is no resistance in between the this terminal so the potential is this one so i can say the number of nodes n is equal to how many 3 now what is the formula number of meshes or loops we can say the mesh or loops is equal to m is equal to okay so branches minus node plus 1 this is a formula you have to remember so number of mesh in a given circuit is equal to find the number of branches and find the number of nodes active nodes and plus 1 so what is the b value b value is equal to 5 minus n n value is equal to 3 plus 1 what is the value so 6 minus 3 that is equal to 3 m is equal to 3 value get. that means three meshes we are going to get in the circuit so that current mesh currents are i1 i2 i3 just i represented okay so similarly so you find that 
each circuit what is the branch current okay find the number of meshes in a given circuit okay then i think so find the what is the you know that what is the branches what is this thing, everything okay so based on this one so you are going to do the calculations now Okay, circuits. One second, we will try it. No problem. Now, so we will see this once again. So this circuit, we are the new for this one. So we are facing some problem. Okay. Now, what is what we have seen? One second, you can see this is a source, and this is a resistance, and this is a resistance. here another resistance another resistance connected here so here another resistance connected source connected here. okay r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 or resistance connected in between the this one and based on this one so we represented a terminal b terminal c d e e f g h just we represented now based on this one i am represented this is a loop 1 i1 loop 2 i2 loop 3 i3 because what is what we have got it m is equal number of meshes is equal 3 value we got it now this is a one equation now i want to know that what is the i1 and i2 and i3 just you copy this sir figure okay so here mm, just a minute i'm going to copy this copy okay
so we'll write the equation directly no problem now here you assume the loops what is the loop one consider so we take the another color blue color so here loop l1 loop l1 so what is the loop first one so you take the a b g h a that means a b g h we take in the loop one first one similarly loop two this is a loop two what is this one b this is a b next c c f g and b this is the second loop consider the closed loop and l3 l3 is a this one this one this one so what is the value this is a c d e f c so this is the third loop consider the closed loop a b g h a loop to b c f g a b and this this is a loop 3 three loops we are going to write the equations okay so now so just i simplify this one small equation i can write the equations now now loop one equation can i write the loop one so here apply this one so from a to b i can take so current i1 so branch current flowing through the r1 is equal to just you take the minus value all you take the minus value minus i1 current r1 okay current flowing this is a minus i1 r1 drop you take it next b to c you take the b to c what is that one current is flowing minus what is the current here i1 is coming downward i2 is going forward what is the resistance r2 r2 okay now g to h no resistance no drop now h to a h to a minus 2 plus so what we are going to get that e voltage what is the, this is a e1 this is a e2 okay that is equal e1 now comes to the a point that is equal zero kvl sum of the drops is equal to sum of the sources a yeah, source is a e1 drop is equal to r1 drop r2 drop two are the drops so based on this one we are going to return one loop equation we are going to get here from a to b minus i1 r1 b to g so we take in the minus r2 into current is the coming to i1 minus i2 we taken just previously this is the logic next g to h we take it so there is no drop and h to a we take here e1 that is equal to minus 2 plus raised voltage plus e1 is equal to 0 by simplifying this equation we are going to get what is the value so that is equal to so here r i1 by simplifying is equal to r1 plus r2 okay minus i2 r2 plus 0 is equal to what is the equation so we are going to e1 that is the first equation so by simplifying this one what is, is it? just to simplify it then we are going to get that i1 r1 plus r2 minus i2 r2 plus 0 r3 is 0 plus e1 this is the first equation you take the first equation now coming to the second equation this is the second equation what is the equation so that is equal i can write it under the color okay so you can take the another color now another what is the loop here i taken the l2 loop what is the l2 so you take the b c f g b 
loop 2. Now from B to C you can write it what is the equation minus what is the current R current is the I2 I2 R3 current okay this one now C to F C to F what is the resistance that is called R4 minus R4 what is the current I2 is coming downward okay I2 minus I3 we take this current now F to G write it what is the drop zero no drop next G to B now we take the G to B what is the current here so R2 into current so what is the current R I2 is coming towards the G to B upward and I1 coming the B to G then you take the I2 minus I1 okay you take that equation simple you take it what is the equation B to C from this B to C you return this one minus B to C minus I2 R3 only I2 is I2 current is flowing minus R4 the current and what is the current I2 minus I3 it return simply now so F to G no drop next G to B then I write it down R2 into what is the current so we considering the from loop 2 that is called I2 minus I1 written here by simplifying so we are going to that equation the second equation so that is equal to we are going to what is the equation by simplifying this one I am going to get that so minus I1 R2 plus I2 into R2 plus R3 plus R4 okay minus R I3 R5 is equal to 0 this is a second equation strengths plus do first you know the concept of space it is a problematic so you can write it here also or you can simplify this one so what is the equation second equation so from this equation we are going to write it So here, so what is the equation? Now this equation, simplifying this is second equation. So we are going to get that. What is the that value? So we are going to finalize the equation minus I I one R two plus I two R two plus R three plus R four minus I three r4 equal to 0 no active elements in the second loop this is the second equation now third equation you apply it what is the third equation here we can see it what is the third equation this is a third equation write the equation from c to d here c to d what is the c to d what is the current purely that i3 current is flowing minus i3 or what is the current r5 okay now coming to the plus to minus drop you take it the drop e2 next e to f no drop next f to c you can say it minus r4 into what is the current i3 minus i2 current okay is equal to 0 this is a third equation okay so you simplify this one you simplify this one then we are going to get it you are going to get it what is the value that is equal to so minus i2 r4 okay plus i3 
into R4 plus R5 is equal to minus E2. This is equal to third equation. We know the first equation, second equation, third equation. Okay, three equations are known equations. Only yet a twisting point you have to remember that the while considering the loop, you take first current value that next value is the another loop. Okay, three equations. Now, if we write the three equations in a matrix form, so we are going to get it. What is the value? So we can write it the three equations in matrix form. Then first matrix form, we are going to R1 plus R2. Okay, so minus. Can I write those equations directly? So you can see that also. Okay, we can three. What are the three equations? I can write here now. So what is the R1? We got it. First equation. So what is the first equation? That is equal to I1. Sorry, this is the first equation. What is the first equation? The first equation we got it. I1 current into R1 plus R2 minus I2 R3 plus 0 is equal to E1. This is the first equation. Second equation we got it minus I1 R R2 plus I2 into R2 plus R3 plus R4 okay minus I3 R4 is equal to 0 this is the second equation okay what is the third equation third equation is equal 0 minus I2 R4 plus I3 into R4 plus R5 is equal to minus E2. This is a third equation. Okay, from the past loop, we are going to get this value. We have got this value. We have got this value. Then we get it in the third equation. Now we can write this in the matrix form. So how we are going to write it in matrix form? Simply write it. Now here first case R1 plus R2. This is equal to minus R2 0. Minus R2 here we are going to get so R2 plus R3 plus R4. Next is the R4 minus R4. Now 0 minus R4 R4 plus R5. This is a matrix. Now, what is the value? I1, I2, I3 is equal to what is the source? E1, 0, minus E2. That is equal to here going to this is R into I is equal to voltage. This is a voltage we know. On we know the resistance, we are going to find that current. So, here we are going to calculate this equation. Okay. Now, you know the this equation. Simply, what to do? This is a first to calculate the what is the determinant of this one. Then, after applying the Kramer's rule, you know that you find the what is the delta of this one. So, we are going to calculate delta. So, after this delta, this matrix we are going to calculate. That is equal to, how we are going to calculate? That is equal to here first term. So, R1 plus R2, this term. So, we take the, this is a Kramer's rule. We are going to this one, this value and this, this value and this value you neglect. This value into this value, this value into this value. We are going to get that minus second term into you take these three values this into this and this into this a third value you take this one vertical and this into value this one so we are going to get that the delta value i want the delta one value that is equal so in your first case you substitute the this e1 e1 to value so 
what is the delta 1? Delta 1 can write it simply E1 here. Okay. So, E1 0 minus E2 in first term here you replace this one remaining portions are same then we are going to delta 1 and delta 2 this will comes to the second column delta 3 this is come to the third column so simple calculation of determinants you know the determinants so by calculating determinants we are going to know the i1 i2 i3 so that students you know the mathematical values so this is a one matrix So, we are going to calculate unknown values here. Apply it. So, what is the value? So, we, this is a delta. And from this one, we are going to the delta 1 is equal to, that is equal to this value. X, we taken is the, what is the I1 now? I1, I2 and I3. So, I1 value is equal to delta 1 by delta. So, here, by simplifying what is the delta 1 here substituting these values in this one delta we are already calculated we are going to the i1 suppose i2 i required then delta 2 by delta i3 i required then delta 3 by delta so such a way that we are going to calculate the currents unknown currents problem is so simple your aim is to just you write the equations only students so how to write the equations is the important this is a mathematical calculation you know the very well this is a mathematical operations okay so simple problem this one you can do the problems okay this is a method okay let us do one problem Okay, so what we have got this equation simple here. Once again, I am going to write it. So, what is the matrix? We have got it R1 plus R2 minus R3 0 minus R2 R2 plus R3 plus R4 minus r 4 yet 0 minus r 4 your r 4 plus r 5 okay this is a final equation we got it and i 1 i 2 i 3 and we got it e 1 0 minus c 2 okay this is a part. Now we substitute the values. Now in your pro, in your textbook is given such a that here the data is given such a way that here E1 is is equal to 20 volts, E2 is equal to 50 volts is given. So this known and this known. At the same time R1 is equal to 4 ohms, R2 is equal to 2 ohms, R3 is equal to 5 ohms and R4 is equal to 10 ohms and R5 is equal to 8 ohms. So this value is also given simple substitute these values in this equation you are going to get the one equation in terms of terms and i1 and i2 i3 is unknown here is equal we are going to get what is the value the 20 0 minus 50 so this known this known this is unknown okay so use the Kramer's rule then find that so i1 i2 i3 this is a method to calculate the problem okay so your aim is to first you find that once again what is the logic inside this problem is that 
वन सेकेंड आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग सी इट इयर युवर एम इज टू सिंपल जस्ट अस्यूम दैट सपोज इयर इज द वन सोर्स रेसिस्टेंस रेसिस्टेंस कनेक्टेड या अनदर रेसिस्टेंस सोर्स इयर इज कनेक्टेड E1, E2, R1, R2, R3. Simple. Once again, I am explaining clearly. So please catch the logic points. Now, we are assuming that the loop current is equal. To, we are assuming as a positive current, I1 current, whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise. We are assuming as a I2 current. Two currents. Okay, now represent these values. For example, represent this one colors. Okay, this is called A, B, C, D, E. F, okay, arbitrarily you represent it. Now, write the loop equations from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E. Write it equations, simple equations. Okay, so here what you are going to write it? Here you can see from write it. From A to B, A B. What is the current? Current is this one. What is the current? Same I one. So minus you take it minus I one R one. You take it. From B to C. Here you remember it. So B to C. What is the resistance? R two. Into what is the current? I one is coming downward. I two is going upward, so write it from loop equation, equation loop A B C D point of view. <coughs> Take the this current passed I one minus I two. Okay, so this is the logic you have to remember. While considering loop A B C D, first you take the current is the I one after that I two. Okay, now coming to the C two D. No drop. Next D to E. So what will happen? So minus two plus. You take the plus E one. Then combine this one. What is the equation we are going to get that? So minus I one R one. Okay. Next you take the same thing. The minus here you take the minus well. Minus R two. I one minus I two. Next, plus E one is equal to zero. This is a first equation. If you know this equation, how to written this one? You are very familiar. It takes simple A to B. Simple I one current is flowing. No combination of I two current here. So you written the simple equation. B to C. In branch B to C, there is a two currents. Is a competition. I one is coming B to C. I two is coming C to D. In this case, you have to use your common sense. So, what is the common sense? You are writing. You are staying in loop A. That's why first give the preference to your current I one. So that's why resistance into what is the current? So you are you are staying in the loop one. That's why I one minus I two current you have to take here. That is the logic you have to take. Same, all values are minus, dropping. So here minus I one R one minus R two into some current. Now C two D. Here there is no drop here. Simply zero. D two A minus two plus voltage drop. Voltage raise E one. So add this one. A two loop. What is the closure loop? Closure loop is equal A B B C C D D A. Then write it the same. Minus I one R one. Minus R two 
i1 minus i2 plus e1 is equal to 0. Then this is a first equation, simplify it. So what are the equations you are going to get? It? By simplification, you are going to get it. What is the value? So here minus i1 r1 here minus r2 i1 minus into minus plus then i2 r2 this is equal plus e1 is equal to 0 this is the equation that is just to simplify it. So we are going to get that i1 into r1 plus r2 minus i2 r2 is equal to e1 this is a first equation okay simple equation i1 r1 plus r2 minus i2 r2 is equal to e1 the first simple equation okay you got it one now coming to the second equation you can write the second equation you write the second equation here so now write the second equation b2e b2e so simple current so what is the current i2 current is going b2e minus i2 r3 ir e2f what is the current plus 2 minus minus e2 next f to c no drop c to b once again here also competition between the telangana andhra just like in this case you have to remember here i1 is coming the turn what and i2 is going out now you are staying in the loop second loop so first give the priority i2 then what is the resistance here r2 minus r2 r2 okay into i2 minus i1 you take it that is the logic you have to remember simple previous case when i am in first loop in telangana i given the priority to the i1 once coming to the second loop when andhra first i given the priority to the i2 okay this is the logic you have to remember then write the total loop equation this loop equation you write it then what you are going to get it that simple equation is equal to here so what are the equation here that is equal to minus that is equal to i1 what is the common r2 plus i2 what is the equation here? R1 no R2 no R2 plus R3 is equal to minus E2. So that is the equation. Simple. Minus R1 R2 plus I2 R2 plus R3 is equal to minus E2 is the equation. So write the equations in this one and we are going to get unknown values. What is the equation here? Here we are going to get that R1 plus R2 minus R2. Here we are going to the minus R2. Here R2 plus R3. This equation. Here I1, I2. Here E1 minus E2. So here two unknowns i1 i2 we know the two equations just do the mal, uh, matrix you are going to get that so this known this value what are the null you know so you know this value you know this value okay you know this value and you know this value simple substitution you are going to calculate this value. This is a procedure for loop 
current calculations. Friends, you have to practice it. Simple basic things, when you are going to practice more and more problems, you may be very familiar. Okay? So otherwise, there is a problem confusion. Okay. So this is a second problem. The third problem by seeing if you know the if you practice these problems by seeing network itself, I can write the equations. So these equations I can write it. For example, you take the another circuit. For example, here is the one circuit it taken. Here you can take it on circuit. So already you calculated in branch. This is a minus, this is a plus resistance, and here you connect the another resistance, here you connect the another resistance, here you connect the another resistance, negative, and here you connect the another resistance here. Just like similar problem. Now you are connected one resistance and source you are going to connect here. Previously in branch current methods we calculated. So now what is the this problem I can write by seeing this equation itself. How it is possible we can write it. Now I take in the I1 I2 I3 equations. Now I know that this is equal to 5 volts. Okay, color change the color. Okay, this is equal to 5 volts, 5 volts. Okay, and previously was in this is a 1 ohm, 1 ohm. 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm resistance. And this is the 10 volts. Previously, we have the same problem. Now, so consider this loop, first loop, I1, I can write it. What is the loop? Resistance 1, 1, 1. I write it the 3. What is the current? I1. Next, what is the relation with I2? Minus I2. Relation with this I3 minus I3 is equal to so we are going to the 5. That's past equation. Okay, once again I will write the equations, you can see it. Here just you consider the first equation. So what is the I1? You can write black color first. I1 okay what is the resistance in branches you can see so 1 2 3 3 resistance connected each one having the one resistance into 3 okay minus I2 minus I3 is equal to 5 volts this is a first equation in second equation I can write it minus I1 plus 3 I2 minus I3 equal to I can write it 5 volts second equation simple equation and third equation I can write it so here I am writing minus I1 minus I2 plus 3i3 equal to 10, the third equation. So, this third equation. Simple by seeing this equation, I am written, I have written three equations. Simple. Okay. Now, keep in matrix form. So, are we are going to keep the matrix form. So, here I am going to get that 3 minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 3. So this is the equation, I got it. Now what is the current? I1, I2, 
i3 then what is the values here yeah, i am going to get 5 volts 5 volts 10 volts so from this i know this is equal to so here this is r i v v known and r known simply calculate the this matrix form z you calculate it z1 you calculate it then i1 can calculate it by the delta 1 by delta simple apply the Kramer's rule so you are going to calculate i1 i2 i3 how simple it is okay so do this problem okay do this problem is very easy just by practicing you are going to get the by seeing the network you can write the equations perfectly after that keep in matrix and do the remaining solutions okay so this is a one single method of loop equation loop currents that's why electrical circuits is a vast subject you have to practice more and more already i told you practice these problems because here simple topic takes uh, one hour the concept is very easy but you have to practice okay so thank you for listening my class if you have any doubts we will clear next class